I stress more than I should when I start pushing up against that 10 minute mark. And the reason I shouldn't stress is from a student's perspective, any video is under 10 minutes if you watch it on a fast enough speed, right? Anyway, um, so what we did in the last video was we tried to serve up a, a static file. And so we created this file index.html. We couldn't see it. And that's because we didn't have it in the publicly accessible www root folder. And so we created this folder and, and because of convention, because of what we named it, .NET said, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. This is a folder that we want to have that allows uh, the users to access these files directly from our site instead of us dynamically generating a page and then give it to the user. We dropped our index.html file in there, but in order for them to be able to see it, we had to tell uh, .NET two things. One is that we wanted to use static files so it would actually show this file instead of just dynamic files. And the other one was that we needed to use default files so that when we went to the uh, site, it would automatically look for an index.html page like it typically would on other sites. And as we run this now, um, it pops up this website for us that has our information in there, although it's not very exciting. So the purpose of this video is gonna to be to make this a little more exciting. Let's actually build a little web page uh, using .NET. So I'm going to, uh, as I was trying to think of what I could do here for a, a website, this is a little tradition of mine. I like to build a Professor Ganderson fan site. So Professor Greg Anderson is uh, one of my best friends in this world and one of the best teachers I know and somebody who just gets things done and improves stuff everywhere he goes and love the dude. And so I, I like building a little fan site to him. So I'm gonna build my here, my little Professor Ganderson fan site. He's the one who got me into teaching in the first place and I'm so grateful for that and he's helped me all through my career. So anyway, I love the dude like I said. All right, so instead of, so here we'll put in a title, Professor Ganderson fan site. And then um, instead of saying testing, testing one, two, three with my heading, I'll say down here, this is Professor Ganderson fan club. And then um, Maybe I'll put in a little heading here, like a heading three, uh, and say something like, the one, the only, Mr. Greg Anderson. Okay, something to that effect. And then um, let's, let's put in just some information, maybe a little quiz, uh, information for people that are visiting the site that don't know who this is. I'm going to put in a paragraph and just say something like Professor Anderson, aka Prof Ganderson, because we have in the department another Professor Anderson, is a professor in the information systems department. And um, is well is a professor in the information systems department, and, um, and then we'll put in a little pop quiz here. Pop quiz, and I will say we love him because, and then we'll give him some options here. So I'm just trying to. <laughs> get here a few different uh so like i want to do like a little list here is the reason for the pop quiz um i want to do a little unordered list and then i'll give a list item here uh, a um the flowing locks he had when he was growing up if you have not seen a picture of young greg anderson you need to see one great locks uh Second reason, B, he can pound a pound of bacon. <laughs> uh, just a little funny story. When I worked with him, uh, we had this little breakfast that we would go to, and he had a one of the guys that was one of the vice presidents. They had all the, the administration serving breakfast, and um, 
anyway, we were buddies with one of the, the vice presidents there. And so we would go through that line. And that guy knew how much Professor Anderson loved bacon. So he would load them up. We'd all get like two strips of bacon. And then Professor Anderson would get like a pile of it. So anyway, okay, so uh, another list uh, item. One reason we all love him is because his exams are so easy. Huh. And then last, uh, not last, but uh, D. Uh, type something wrong, can't do it. Um, he is just an awesome person who cares about everyone around him. All right, and then of course the correct response, E, all of the above. All right, so we've got our little list here. Now this is looking pretty good if we run this, but I think what's missing, if we take a look at this site now that we're building, is um, an image of some sort, right? So I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna just search for Greg Anderson BYU. And I'm gonna pull up here a picture, an image. We're gonna find one that works. We could use this one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, let's, let's get one here. And uh, we'll download this little image here, save image as Oh, it's gonna give me this weird format. I ran through this before. Let's use, uh... no, that's okay. We need to get the image in a, it says JPEG, but I'm actually gonna change this and be, let's see if it'll do this. Yours might not be doing the same thing for me, but I've had this problem before. JPEG, so I'm gonna name this Ganderson JPEG. Save it in my downloads. Got some RoboCode in there in the downloads. Let's see if that actually worked. Okay, it did. Okay, so here's something that I wanna show you. Once we've got that in the downloads folder, um, then if we go to the actual downloads folder and we find um, this image, one of the cool things about Visual Studio is it's integrated with Windows when we're using Windows. So I can just drag this out of this folder and drag it into my project. Whoa. My computer just went crazy when I tried to do that. Let's see. Uh, either unsupported, maybe it didn't like what I did. Oh, it tried to open it in the thing though. Let me try that one more time. I think it didn't get all the way across. There we go. Nope. I lied. Okay, this isn't a convenient way to do it after all. Um, why does it not like that? Uh, Okay, so I bet I can copy or cut, paste. And then once I've cut and pasted, I can take this, this link, and this is the part that I was wanting to show you more than the other part, um, is I can take this link and just drag it into the, the program. And even that's not working, but hopefully you've picked up on why that might not be working. In order for them to see this image, it has to be in the publicly accessible folder, right? It can't be part of just our project. We need to get this Ganderson JPEG up into the www root folder. And then once we've done that, then yes, absolutely, we can drop this in into our program so that it comes up on the page. And so again, anything that's downloaded to the user, other than the dynamic pages that we're generating, anything that's downloaded needs to be in this uh, www root folder. All right, let's try running that. And sure enough, oh, the image is a little bit big. I guess I had to fix that. So let's let's say the height is um, 400. Let's save that, run it. So it's not taking up the entire page. Okay, and that looks really good. So, um, well, it doesn't look really good. It, 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 we, we need to do some formatting, obviously, of this site to make it look, look a little bit better. And we'll attack that in the next video. Spencer, out.